allow me to be blunt. What else is new? College is one of the biggest scams perpetrated on society in the history of society. Round about maybe somewhere in the late 70s and then into the 80s, college started to be viewed as this panacea. You know, you just go to college and bam, spend four years there and you got it made. Well, college is not about intellectual enlightenment. And more and more, college is simply a money-making scheme. Now, granted, there are fields of endeavor where you do need a college degree. Medicine, for example, okay? So you don't need a college degree, in most cases, to fly a 747 full of people. And that's one hell of a complex job. But you do need a college degree to become a customer service representative at some companies, which is insane. College has the book scam, so they change a sentence in a history book, and now you gotta buy a whole new one for 300 bucks. They've got the general education requirement scam, so that keeps you in college longer, paying more money. And I know someone out there is gonna say, well, they need to become well-rounded students. You can become a well-rounded individual from an intellectual standpoint for free. The library, the internet, you don't have to incur the cost that it takes to get a college degree in order to become a well-rounded, in order to read Shakespeare. It's free. All right, so I have been saying this for a long time, and you know what? Now some people are starting to agree with me. Some very prominent folk that uh, are captains of industry, like Elon Musk. He is convinced you don't need a college degree to become successful. In fact, he's putting his money where his mouth is. So let's talk about some of the companies that do not require a college degree for you to work with them. And guess what? You might be surprised by some of these. So let's get into it. Very excited about this. We've got our first Before we get started, hit the subscribe button, then make a comment in the comment section and we'll respond to you, letting you know that we appreciate your subscription. Thank you. No, it, 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 it's not, it's, it, there's no need even to have a college degree at all, or even high school. But, um, I mean, if somebody graduated from a great university, that may be an, indi that may be an indication that they will be capable of great things, but it's not necessarily the case. Um, you know, if you look at, um, say, people like uh, Bill Gates, or Larry Ellison, Steve Jobs, these guys didn't graduate from college. But if you had a chance to hire them, of course, that would be a good idea. <laughs> so, you know, just looking just for evidence of exceptional ability, um, and if there's a track record of exceptional achievement, then it's likely that that will continue into the future. That was Elon Musk, as we all know, the rocket scientist and owner of Tesla. Listen, if the goal is to get a good paying job or to start a successful business, then most college degrees are absolutely worthless. A ginormous trick has been played on the public for the last 40 years or so, and that trick has been to mislead people, mislead the general public into thinking that in order to have any chance of success in life, you have to have either entertainment value, athletic ability, or a college degree. According to the U.S. Department of Education, the average amount of student debt in the country is $32,000. Additionally, more than 600,000 student loan debtors owe more than $200,000. You would think that with that type of price tag, the college experience would result in more than just 27% of graduates ultimately getting a job in their field of study. Now, keep in mind that 
percent figure is according to the New York Federal Reserve Board. Would you invest at least $32,000 and as much as $200,000 if an investment was known to have only a 27% chance of success? And did you know that the average holder of a bachelor's degree who took out a student loan takes 20 years to pay it off? Did you know that some schools offer degrees in film, video, and photographic arts? What are you going to do with that? Hollywood doesn't work like that. Quentin Tarantino, he worked in a video store and as an usher in a movie theater. Then he took a few acting classes. Yet New York University and Wellesley, they're going to charge you a handsome ransom for a degree in film, video, and photographic arts. Christopher Nolan, Stanley Kubrick, and Steven Spielberg, you may have heard of them, they also managed to eke out careers in film without a degree in the subject. John D. Rockefeller, Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla, Granville T. Woods, Alicia Boone Stott, Henry Ford, the Wright brothers, Buckminster Fuller, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Puff Daddy, Michael Dell, Mark Zuckerberg, Jack Dorsey, Srinivasa Maranajan, Madam C.J. Walker. All of these people changed the world without a college degree. Then there's Vivian Thomas. Now, in the intro, I said that medicine was one of those fields where you need a degree. And that's because you're not going to get board certified as a physician. And no hospital is going to let you work on people without that, no matter how smart you are, no matter how gifted you are. That's the case today. However, Vivian Thomas, back in the 1940s, he developed a treatment for cyanotic heart disease, also known as Blue Baby Syndrome. Now, he did this while working as a laboratory assistant at Vanderbilt University and Johns Hopkins University. And he went on to co-develop several techniques that are used today in heart surgery. A high school diploma was his only educational credential until 1967 when Johns Hopkins University conferred an honorary doctorate upon him. With evidence like this, it should come as no surprise that several high profile companies have seriously revamped the educational requirements for various positions. We're talking Netflix, IBM, Google, and Apple. These companies do not require degrees for several software engineering titles. Hilton Hotels accepts candidates without a degree for multiple management positions. Elon Musk doesn't care whether you graduated high school. If you've got the brain power and the skill to do the job, you can work in Tesla's artificial intelligence department. Some of the most dynamic and forward-thinking companies in the world today are more interested in proven ability than they are in whether you're able to score adequately enough on exams to get a piece of paper. It's 2021. You can literally teach yourself almost anything. In fact, most of the well-known colleges and universities offer their degree programs for free online. Now, when I say the degree program, you're not going to be awarded the actual degree, but you can take Stanford University's machine learning class without taking out a dime in student loans. You can learn this stuff and not have to actually go to the college or spend money obtaining the knowledge. The same is true for the particle physics course at the University of Geneva. You want something more down to earth? How about Foundations of Modern Finance from MIT? That's online for free. I'm going to put links in the description so you can obtain this free education. Did you know you can get basically the chemistry course from Harvard for free? So we don't have any excuses anymore. Not only can we use this knowledge to apply to our own businesses, but if you're someone who actually wants to go out there and work for a dynamic company, Companies like Tesla, it's changing the face of energy and transportation. Netflix has changed the face of how we obtain entertainment. If you want to work for these dynamic organizations, 
you don't necessarily have to have a college degree to do it. This also says something else very key. Just because you may not have a college degree or may not want to pursue one has no bearing whatsoever on the potential success of any company you start. Listen, all of the old paradigms, they're crumbling. But at the same time, there's more opportunity than ever for those of us who recognize it and are willing to capture it. As with any and all investments, I strongly encourage you to do your due diligence. When you look at whether or not you should obtain education from a college, figure out is the course of study in demand? Are you going to be able to recoup the cost, not just the cost in money, but the cost in time? What opportunities may you be losing or giving up to go ahead and pursue a degree program for four years. You have to sit down and figure this out. I, In my opinion, there are only a few fields of study that demand a college degree, medicine, engineering, law, and truly, that's about it. Because if we look back through history, we see that even in those subjects, people without formal education have just made incredible strides in those areas. So do your due diligence, figure out whether or not the investment in time and money is going to make sense, or should that focus, should that time, should that energy, should that money be focused on another area, like maybe building a business or acquiring a skill, an actual hard skill. It's up to you to decide.